Hello, welcome to Prejame Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 51 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll discuss about the different page navigation techniques that are available in ASP.NET. Page navigation techniques. This is a very common interview question. This question can be asked in several different ways. For example, what are the different page navigation techniques that are available in ASP.NET? Or, how do you link pages in an application? Or how do you move from one web form to another web form in ASP.NET? Obviously, there are several ways to navigate between web forms in an ASP.NET web application. For example, we can make use of the hyperlink control, response.redirect, server.transfer, server.execute, cross-page postback, window.open using JavaScript. We will be talking about the techniques from two to six in the subsequent video sessions. In this session, we'll talk about the hyperlink control. In fact, we have spoken about the hyperlink control in part 13 of the ASP.NET video series. If you haven't watched that part, I would strongly encourage you to do so before continuing with the session. The hyperlink control is used to navigate to another page. The page you want to navigate to is specified by the navigate URL property. Using the hyperlink, we can navigate to another page within the same application or to an external website that's hosted on the same web server or on a different web server. The hyperlink control is actually rendered as an HTML anchor tag. Let's look at that in action. I have a simple ASP.NET web application project here. I just have one web form. Let me quickly add another web form. So web form 2.aspx. Now let's drag and drop the hyperlink control onto the web form. Now the important thing to notice here is that the hyperlink control is actually the ASP.NET server-side control. Okay, now I'm going to set the navigate URL property here. Navigate URL is equal to, I want to navigate to web form 2.aspx. So let me change the name. So web form 2.aspx. And let's set the text to go to web form 2 okay all right so now notice this this is an asp.net hyperlink control now let me run this project when the page loads you know the hyperlink control will actually be converted into an html anchor tag because the browsers will not understand the asp.net server controls they only understand html and it's the responsibility of the server to convert these uh, asp.net controls into the html controls that can be understood by the browser so if i right click on the browser now and view source Look at this, the hyperlink control is actually rendered uh, as an anchor tag. Okay, the navigate URL property is now specified as the href property and the text is actually wrapped in between the opening and closing tag of the anchor tag. Okay, so now when I click this one, look at the URL. The URL here is webform1.aspx. Now, when I click go to webform2, look at that. The URL is changed to webform2. Now, this is important to keep in mind. You know, the hyperlink control changes the URL in the browser window and it remembers the history because some of the techniques that we have, you know, to navigate between web forms do not change the URL and they do not remember the history. So when we compare this, you know, somebody can ask you, uh, you know, an interview question like what is the difference between a hyperlink control and server.transfer because server.transfer doesn't change the URL. Okay, and another point to keep in mind as far as the hyperlink control is concerned. Now, using the hyperlink control, we have seen how to navigate to a page within the same application. Okay, but let's say I want to navigate to a page that's present on a different web server. Now, this ASP.NET web application is running on my local machine, on my local web server. But then, uh, let's configure this uh, hyperlink control to navigate to a different uh, website. Let's say I want to navigate to prajimtech.com and that's definitely not not hosted on my machine on prajimtech.com i want to go to home.aspx page so this page is on a different website that's present on a different web server okay can i use hyperlink to go to a website that's present on a different web server absolutely and let's change the text to go to maybe prajimtech okay so let's run this now 
So go to Prezim Tech. Obviously, look at the URL. It's currently localhost web form one. But when I click to click go to Prezim Tech, it's actually going to prezimtech.com, a website that's hosted on a different server. Okay. So using hyperlink control, we can navigate to a page that's present uh, in the same application or to an external website uh, that's present on a different web server. Okay, that's that's important to keep in mind as well because you know using some of these techniques again we cannot navigate to a website that's hosted on a different web server. So when we compare and contrast these different page navigation techniques, you know we should be able to point out those differences. And it's and it's important to understand these concepts discussed here for two reasons. Number one, there could be several interview questions based on page navigation techniques. And number two, when you are actually working on a project, you know depending on the application requirement, if you understand the concepts properly, you'll be able to pick and choose uh, the technique that best suits your application needs. We will be talking about the techniques from uh, you know 2 to 6 in the subsequent video sessions. On this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.